Today I decided to make a quick travel slash yarn shopping vlog that you can refer to if you ever happen to find yourself in Paris someday or if you like me and just love watching the cute yarn store spots around the world. I will also show you my catch and what I made with it already. So let's go! I will put the Google links to the stores in the description box. Depending where you stay in, uh, there are various options how to get to this neighborhood. I just took the subway and it was very easy to navigate, even given the fact that I don't speak French. The first store, Little Whistle, was really recommended to me by my Instagram knitting friends and it is found in this beautiful gallery, just a few minute walk from the metro station. The store has a large selection of yarns with a great range of colors and fibers and the shop assistants spoke English. I don't buy souvenirs when I travel, but I always try to buy locally made yarn when, wherever I go. So of course I wanted to get something made in France. Uh, it seemed like Fanti yarn uh, is very popular. I hope I did not mispronounce the name. And it was recommended to me by the shop assistant. And its tweet looked amazing. Yuli's yarn is also a local brand with a generous color selection. Little Weasel has also a section for hand dyed yarn. Uh, personally, I mostly work with solid colors, but I'm sure those who love a splash of color in their needs will appreciate the selection. Here is my catch from the store, Fonte Tweet. It is pure wool with 5% my hair addition. I love those speckles. It is worsted weight and looks like the fabric will have a great stitch definition. So we'll definitely play either with cables or simple pearl knit combinations. Okay, let's take a break for the view. So gorgeous. And here I'm back at home, storing it for the future project. Definitely something textured will come out of it. And of course I will share it with you. Next stop is just a short walk away. Take your time in your way to stop and wonder. This city is full of textures and remarkable architecture. There are also a lot of coffee shops around and stores. So I suggest taking a break because you can be lost for hours in the next yarn store. And here it is, La Droguerie. <laughs> I apologize for my French pronunciation in advance, I, I did my best. You know, I had a weird feeling that I entered some secret chamber full of magic goods. Amazing choice of yarn and accessories for your craft. And the staff is super friendly and speaks perfect English. So it's 100% must stop in Paris for me. After an hour or so of just wandering around the store and admiring every corner, I got two kinds of yarn for myself. So the first one is this gorgeous black keep my hair. Black is actually my favorite color in clothes, but I very rarely need in black, as usually when I need, I create photo and video instructions, and it is challenging to show the process on camera if black yarn is used. But for my travels, I needed something mindless and quick on the needles, and as the yarn I bought is kind of fuzzy, it needs up very quickly on 7mm needles. Perfect project for the travel. I went for a very simple top-down reglan with generous seas, wide sleeve cuffs and huge cozy turtleneck. 
it is so easy to style and I have been wearing it a lot as a total black look or pairing it with fun accessories. I'm going to create a separate video tutorial for this sweater design but in a different yarn so you can see exactly what I'm doing and you can recreate it for your size. Here's a sneak peek. Um, I chose a super fun light pink and even yarn so you can clearly see all the steps. Make sure to subscribe to the channel not to miss it. Also I'd like to show you how different one simple design can look with just a change of yarn. So have fun with it. Another fun purchase was these buttons. I really like their shape so I still have no idea for what design I'm going to use them. This yarn got my attention as the blend is so unusual. Silk, my hair, bamboo, angora and wool. It is so soft and silky. I don't have any plan for it, but I think definitely something oversized and maybe off the shoulder style. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this quick yarn shop in Paris vlog and I'll see you in the next video.